We're at 841 now. We've been talking about this all morning, how to keep your kids safe when they're playing online video games, especially games like the popular Fortnite game. This morning, Robert Allen, who is an expert in security, domestic and international terrorism at Tulane University, is joining us with uh, more. We talked with you earlier this morning, and, and uh, the, the one thing that uh, I, I have a 16-year-old, and, and he, he plays some, some of the video games online, mm -hmm. but he plays with friends he knows, and that's kind of the key. That, that's, without a doubt, the, one of the most crucial aspects of what we're talking about. Uh, you get these online games, and anybody from anywhere in the world can literally reach out to that person yeah. and, and play the games with them or be involved with them on, on some sort of social online gaming aspect of it. But I would be... And a kid is playing innocently, thinking, you know, it's a competition. Mm -hmm. He can, you know, he can, he can show people all over the world how mm -hmm. good he is. Yeah, and the kids are doing is. the right thing. They, they think they're doing the right thing, but you get that one person that comes out of nowhere that reaches out that nobody knows who he is, nobody can verify who he is, and then it's easy to make fake online profiles. I mean, it's done all the time, and that's that's the, that's where you run into your problems. And we're not trying to pick on Fortnite, uh, but but there was an incident that happened with Fortnite mm -hmm. where some undercover officers were were talking uh, with some people who, who thought they were talking with kids. No, and we don't want to make it one particular organization because that, that's a disservice to them. I mean, they're doing what they believe to be the right things. They're given the due diligence that needs to take place. But you look at Fortnite, Minecraft, I mean, the apps online, like Duke and I discussed earlier, there's so many apps online. There's so many texting apps. And again, I use the phrase disposable text that you can text and these things vanish. There's apps that you can use and anybody can reach out to anyone. So how do you keep your kids safe? Be I mean, because, the, because everything's online these days. Be involved. Bottom line up front, be involved. I mean, don't, you don't want to do what, what's called helicopter parenting. You don't want to yeah. breathe down their neck or anything like that. Give them a little But latitude. you do want to be aware. Well, and that goes back to a military expression we use all the time, trust but verify. Yeah. And you just want to do that. You want to verify, but you want to give the kids the benefit of the doubt because nine times out of ten, or more times than not, the kids are doing the right thing. It's that other person that that's, has that nefarious ideology that really wants to do something bad. He's going to befriend them. He's going to try to talk to them. And they're just, they think it's just another kid. Yeah, there are people out there who want to do them harm, and that's what we're talking about now. Absolutely. And you cannot put enough emphasis on being aware of what your kids are doing online. I, I I uh, like I've told a couple people before when it comes to that comes to kids. There's nothing above question. Yeah. All right, Robert. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Thank